Hello and welcome to The Space Between Ideas. I'm Blaine Gates. How complicated can things be before something breaks and nobody knows how to fix it? If we think about a simple farmer who is doing some simple farming, then it's actually quite a complex thing because we have an animal and if the animal is sick, then we have to find a way to get the animal healthy. And the rest of the equipment on the animal that's gonna help us to do the farming is mostly leather, wood, and metal. As far as the leather and metal and wood components are concerned, the majority of the farmers can fix that themselves. And for the animals, 90%, 99%, 90 something percent, most of what happens with animals, they fix themselves. Our human bodies and animal bodies in general have the ability to regenerate and to solve problems within their complex systems. Yeah, it's true, sometimes we have to call a vet. And that means in our community, we need to have a vet because sometimes we need to have some medicine in order to keep that animal moving suddenly we had these mechanical tractors. And the question is, does that make it easier or more difficult for the farmer? I think that a horse probably is more complicated to fix. Now, it's true that a horse 90, 99% of the time will fix itself. But when it comes to a problem with the horse, if the horse's body can't fix its own problem, then it's going to be a really complicated problem. And for that, we have a huge industry of medicine. Mechanical problems, on the other hand, you can actually count the number of pieces that you have in a tractor and each of the systems are combined and can be diagnosed quite easily and you can replace a part and now the tractor works. I don't know if every farmer knows how to fix a tractor, but just like we need a veterinarian to fix our horses, we also need a mechanic to fix our tractor. At some point, our machines got bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger until the point now where we don't really need our machines to be bigger, but we're starting to see some changes where our machines are becoming smarter. Suddenly, we have the event of artificial intelligence and we're able to help our machines to do things which they could not do before. And now they have very, very complex programming that the farmer can no longer handle. Is it the same situation as a horse? where 99% of the time it can fix a problem in its programming? Or is it a case where the software is so strong and the principles of science and the way that we've developed the artificial intelligence is so good that it never makes a mistake? And so now we have two problems. One is that we need a mechanic who can deal with the mechanical aspects of the machinery. And then we also need a computer scientist that can help us to diagnose the problems with the software. This is a very simple example of how we moved from a horse-drawn farming equipment to a tractor to a tractor which is driven by artificial intelligence. And in general, we have gone through this process to a varying degree with a lot of different types of systems in our homes, whether it be for washing clothing or for cooking food. We now have robots that can do complex maneuvers in order to cook meals. And at some point, a lot of the daily life operations are going to be replaced by machines. But I don't think that thinking will ever be completely replaced. We've always been able to hire out our farming. We could hire the farming to an animal. We could hire the farming to a tractor. We could hire the farming out to a machine with, with artificial intelligence. And now we're able to hire out the washing of our clothes, the cooking of our food. We could always hire those things out to other people. There's really only two questions when it comes to business. One question is, how much of the intellectual property rights do you own? How much of the asset do you own? And how well can you think through problems in order to protect yourself from competition? Meaning, you have to do a few different things. You have to make sure that your technology is working faster, better, stronger, and more applicable than the competitor. And also, you have to find ways to defeat your competitors. Perhaps 
those answers lie within artificial intelligence. Perhaps we can just let artificial intelligence solve every problem that we have. So the battle is really about who can train the best bot. I don't know exactly the answer to who can train the best bot or how you train the best bot. But I know that when it comes to our current reality, we still have to improve our thinking skills. And the first question that comes up whenever we're trying to think about something is performance and output. Do we clearly understand the output that we're trying to achieve? And what level of performance do we need in order to reach that output? We can divide this into two different situations. In the situation where we are working toward a new goal, then we define the level of output that we want to reach. We define the thing that we want, the vision, and then we start talking about how can we increase the performance and what are the elements of performance that we need to increase in order to reach that output. So there's an unknown. And in the case where we already have a product, the product already has a personality, we're already doing promotion, then the question is, what level of performance are we reaching right now? And what are the outcomes that we are achieving right now? And, and how are we going to influence our behavior, the things that we're doing, in order to achieve better outcomes? And I'll just leave you with this one little story. Imagine a person is using Zoom and they have some kind of magical artificial intelligence. And everything that they say is translated to English. Let's say that they're speaking a foreign language. And then suddenly the AI stops working. Suddenly there's no internet connection. And then you find out that that person doesn't actually speak English and you cannot carry on the conversation because the person needs the AI in order to carry out the conversation. Well, I think this is true with thinking skills as well. Thank you.